Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Rhonda Hagen. For those of you who don't know me, I am a sapologist with Sapology by Steep Tea. And um, I'm going live today to show you guys how to make a strawberry cream uh, frappuccino copycat. Um, okay, so if you're watching live in Facebook, Definitely throw me a hello if you watch later, throw me a hashtag replay. If you're watching on Instagram, then, um, and you like what you see, follow me. And if you're watching from YouTube and like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them in the comments. Um, so let's get going. Okay, so when before I start, I just want to say that by no means am I at dissing Starbucks whatsoever when I'm making this copycat. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a treat and splurging. Having said that, there are cases where people are really watching their weight or really into the health, don't like maybe overly sweet things or trying to cut back on their sugar for health reasons and simply the cost difference, right? Some people are just on a budget. So I'm trying to show you a healthier way that maybe if you shouldn't have a treat but you still want one, that you can indulge healthfully. Um, and also if you're on a budget, you can save some money uh, and make your treat at home. Anyways, okay, so I've got my melting frappuccino. I had to drive to from uh, Penticton uh, to get this, so it was about a 15 minute drive, so hopefully it's still good. All right, so the first thing that I did uh, ahead of time was I made my simple syrup. And to make simple syrup, it's super easy. I like to make it with fruit, fruit tea. And I usually use anywhere from six to nine teaspoons of fruit tea to one cup of water. And the traditional recipe is one cup of sugar. So if you're doing a sweetener conversion, you're using the, the conversion with one cup of sugar. I like to use um, monk fruit blend. So this is the brand I use. I usually do three, even though it's one to one, I personally think it's three quarters <laughs> to one. Um, cup of sugar. Um, because I am using naturally sweet tea today, which is our one fruit tea that we have. Um, sorry, we have one fruit tea with our naturally sweet line, I should say. Um, but it does have stevia in it, so I cut it down to half. So I did half, half a cup of um, monk fruit blend. All right, so I use nine teaspoons of this naturally sweet strawberry limeade and it is our um, customer exclusive this month for June. Super delicious tea. <coughs> Justin, it's his favorite so far I think. Um, it's, it's up there for me. I don't know. There's, I have so many tied favorites now. But okay, so what I did was I just put that on the pot, put that all in a pot and I boiled that and then simmered it for five minutes and then I completely cooled it. So then I just put it in a little container. Um, I, it makes more than this, but this is what I have left. Okay, so then the only other thing I did to prepare ahead of time was, I just, you don't really have to do it ahead of time, but I prepared a puree, a strawberry puree. So any of this recipe that I'm doing, you can do with any flavors of fruit tea or any fruit puree. It doesn't have to be strawberry. So I did half a cup of frozen strawberries. Hey Lorna, hey Debbie. Um, and then I just added a splash of water and then I blended it. Um, I blended it in the blender and just I added a little bit more water just to get that puree consistency. So then I have that half a cup of puree already started. And so then what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna add one cup of milk Into oh, but it's spilling everywhere. The little splash. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> All right. So, and then I'm going to put some ice in. I don't really know how much ice I want to add. So, I'll just add a half a cup to start. And then I'll just keep adding. I'm measuring if I want to make a recipe from this. I need to know how much ice. I definitely need the rest of that cup. I might even need a little bit more, but we'll see. I think I need a little tiny bit more ice. Okay, I'll put another half a cup. 
left and then see from there. It's the first time I've done this, so going to do is, oh, you know what, I forgot one thing, you guys. Before I do that, I need to sweeten it. So I'm going to just put that black back in the blender, and I'm going to put three tablespoons of the simple syrup that I made into the blender. Sorry for the noise, give me one more second. So, I might have made even too much. Okay, so I am going to put this puree in my cup. Okay, so I put the puree in, and then I'm putting this drink. Yeah, I made double, because I added so much ice. All right, so then I'm just gonna top it with some whipped cream. All right, so, so the difference between this Starbucks Grande and really, and this homemade Sipology fruit strawberry lime frappuccino is the, the one from Starbucks has 350 calories, uh, 51 carbohydrates, 50 grams of sugar, four grams of protein and 14 grams of fat. Now I only used half of this uh, milk and uh, milk and <laughs> um, tea blend. So I'm going to have to cut this in half. So um, the calories for this would be only 70 and they would be about 13 net carbohydrates and only nine grams of natural sugar and um, three grams, of, three and a half grams of protein. Did I say four grams of fat? Okay, so let's try it and see how it is. Maybe I'll stir it a little bit. I gotta get my taste tester in. So my, Justin's gonna be my unbiased taste tester. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> I do kind of find these on the sweet side typically. So I'm gonna, oh my goodness, I'm gonna make a big mess, you guys. Stir it up. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Stir it a little bit more. This is definitely sweeter. If you like really, really sweet, this is about half, the sweetness, maybe three quarters. I'll let the taste tester decide. <coughs> okay, here, there, Mister Straws, kind of. Okay, so try this Hello, one. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a fan of any of this stuff because I always find everything too sweet. You can, you can use it. I know <laughs> this straw's melting. Okay, okay, just drink it. It works. Not bad actually, not too too sweet. So that's I think okay. the size might be a little too much for me though. Okay, so now try this one. Bad. It's quite a mess here. I know it's a mess. <laughs> more tarty this way, more sweet than this. Yeah. They Did are you pretty like good. It? Yeah. More ice so. Yes. I could have used more ice, maybe less milk. So I think in the future I'd use half a cup of milk instead of one cup so per this, serving. So this is a good idea because I mean, not bashing again, bashing you know, Starbucks or anything, but we're on a budget. Gas money is very, very expensive. Myself, why would I spend five or six dollars on a drink when I can have a burger or something? That's just me. <laughs> but why not come at home, make it a healthier version, less sugar, less calories, and it's healthier, and you can have more. So I mean, I just can't justify spending five, six, seven. I don't even know. I've never been there. But on a drink, it doesn't make sense to me. 
that's just me, but you know what? You're, sa you're still getting your treat and you're saving yourself money, so it's important with today's economy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Anyways, so that is my version of um, the strawberry cream frappuccino. I hope you enjoyed the demo. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be posting later on uh, the recipe once I uh, create that. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.